In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on October 19, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football football games after fully watching this video. Or thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Southern California versus Maryland. Southern California will travel to Maryland on Saturday, October 19th for a pivotal Big Ten Conference matchup. Both teams enter the game with identical 3-3 records, but the circumstances surrounding their seasons are quite different. The Trojans are currently facing adversity after suffering consecutive defeats against Minnesota and Penn State, which has dampened their hopes of contending for a spot in the college football playoff. Those ambitions now hang in the balance, and Southern California is desperate to find answers. Meanwhile, Maryland has also stumbled through the season, especially in conference play, where they are winless with an 0-3 record. Although the Terrapins secured victories against weaker non-conference opponents, they have struggled mightily when playing on their home turf, making this an intriguing test for both squads. The biggest obstacle for Southern California in this contest will be overcoming their struggles in conference road games. The Trojans have already fallen short in hot hostile environments, losing to both Minnesota and Michigan earlier in the season. If this game were taking place at home, Southern California would likely be overwhelming favorites. That's why there is strong value in expecting Southern California to not only win but also cover the spread. The Trojans boast athletic talent across every position group, and they are facing a Maryland team with a poor pass defense, ranking 109th nationally in passing yards allowed per game. This mismatch presents a golden opportunity for Southern California to exploit Maryland's secondary. Additionally, Southern California's defense, which ranks 45th in the nation against the pass, should hold up well against Maryland's pass-heavy offensive approach. Despite Maryland's tendency to rely heavily on their aerial attack, it hasn't consistently translated into winning results this season. One of Maryland's major shortcomings lies in their inability to address key personnel issues, particularly on the offensive line. Head coach Mike Loxley has experimented with changes, but it's clear that more significant adjustments were needed during during their recent bye week. Unfortunately, the lack of depth and talent on the line is not something that can be fixed midseason. Moreover, Maryland doesn't have the luxury of acquiring better cornerbacks to handle Southern California's talented wide receivers. Even with some injuries on Southern California's defense, Maryland quarterback Edwards is expected to struggle against defensive coordinator D'Anthony Lynn's unit, which will aim to pressure him throughout the game. Southern California's defense is also likely to focus on doubling Maryland's top receiver, Felton, forcing the Terrapins to lean more on their ground game. However, Maryland has failed to generate much success running the ball, especially against strong competition, due to the poor performance of their offensive line. Given these mismatches, the Southern California Trojans to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Although Maryland's offense has shown flashes of potential, inconsistency continues to plague them, particularly because of their offensive line and frequent penalties. Quarterback Moss might not be the most impressive signal caller, but he has the benefit of playing behind a much more competent offensive line than Edwards. On a mild fall afternoon with favorable weather conditions, Moss should have the opportunity to make plays through the air against Maryland's porous pass defense. While Maryland may be able to move the ball at times, they struggle to sustain drives and capitalize on score opportunities. A significant part of their offensive struggle stems from their undisciplined play, as Maryland ranks 93rd nationally with an average of seven penalties per game. These mental mistakes have consistently derailed their progress and will likely continue to be a problem against Southern California. The Trojans' offense, however, has also been inconsistent, managing only 17 points in their loss to Minnesota and 24 points in their defeat at Michigan. This game provides Southern California's defense with an excellent chance to get back on track and 
regain confidence after their recent losses to Penn State and Minnesota. If the defense can generate pressure and force Maryland into predictable passing situations, they will have the upper hand throughout the game. Additionally, turnovers could play a key role, as Southern California's defense has shown the ability to create them. Recent betting trends also suggest this matchup could be a lower scoring affair. When the total has been set at 56 points or higher, the under has hit in both of Southern California's previous games. Furthermore, the under has cashed in two out of three of Southern California's road games this season. On Maryland's side, the under is 1-0 when the total has been set at 50.5 or higher. Given both teams' inconsistent offenses and the Trojans' defensive potential, betting on the under seems like the safest option. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical versus Mississippi State. The Texas Agricultural and Mechanical Aggies, currently ranked 14th, come into this matchup with a strong momentum, boasting an impressive record of 5-1. They are riding high on the heels of what has been their most significant victory of the season thus far. Given the competitive landscape of the Southeastern Conference this year, this game could prove to be pivotal for the Aggies as they strive to secure the top position in the standings. The sense of urgency and importance surrounding this contest can cannot be understated, as every game in the Southeastern Conference carries considerable weight, especially for a team looking to establish its dominance. On the other side of the field, the Mississippi State Bulldogs are struggling, holding a disappointing record of 1-5. This will mark the third consecutive week in which they face a ranked opponent, having recently encountered the top-ranked team and the fifth-ranked team in the nation. After suffering five consecutive defeats, the Bulldogs are grappling with low confidence and morale, making this matchup even more challenging challenging for them. The team will need to dig deep to find a way to turn their season around and contend effectively against a formidable foe like Texas Agricultural and Mechanical. When it comes to their defensive capabilities, Mississippi State's run defense leaves much to be desired. It has been inadequate, to put it plainly. Although quarterback Connor Weigman has shown promise since making his return from a three-game absence, he may not need to overextend himself in this particular game. I anticipate that the Aggies will lean heavily on their running game, utilizing Moss and the other talented backs. This strategy could allow Texas Agricultural and Mechanical to secure a victory while keeping their passing yardage below 150 yards, effectively managing the game without relying too heavily on the air attack. Conversely, the defensive side of the ball is where Texas Agricultural and Mechanical is expected to excel significantly. The Bulldogs have a tendency to favor passing plays, which might not bode well for their chances in this game. While quarterback Mike Wright had some success surprising Georgia with his plays, he won't have that same advantage this week as the Aggies have ample film to study. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical ranks 20th in defensive havoc and is 49th in passing yards allowed, indicating that they should be able to generate consistent pressure on the Bulldogs throughout the game. Their defense is well positioned to challenge Mississippi State's offensive strategies effectively. In terms of historical matchups, the Mississippi State Bulldogs have managed to achieve a 6-4 record against the Aggies in their last 10 meetings. However, when looking specifically at their encounters since 20 2020, the record stands at 2-2, with Texas Agricultural and Mechanical dominating the last meeting, securing a convincing 51-10 victory. Additionally, the Aggies currently rank 52nd in points scored this season, while the Bulldogs find themselves at the bottom of the rankings, sitting at 109th for points allowed in college football. Mississippi State has struggled defensively, allowing over 201 rushing yards per game, which plays directly into Texas Agricultural and Mechanical's strengths, as they average 230 to rushing yards per game in 2024. This season, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical has only played one game away from their home turf, achieving a remarkable victory against the Florida Gators. With a five-game winning streak and a perfect 3-0 record in Southeastern Conference play, the Aggies are poised to continue their success. Although the game may be closer than expected, I believe Texas Agricultural and Mechanical will emerge victorious once again. Therefore, the Texas Agricultural and Mechanical Aggies to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. While the styles of play for these two teams are quite different, it's interesting to note that the over, under record stands at 6-4 in their last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. In the most recent two matchups, we have seen a remarkable average of over 750 combined yards and an average of 64 points scored per game. For the Aggies, the over-under record is a balanced 5-5 in their last 10 overall games, with an impressive scoring average of 35 points during their five-game winning streak. On the other hand, the Bulldogs have also recorded a 6-4 over 
over-under in their last 10 games, but they have been struggling defensively, allowing just under 39 points per game during their current five-game losing streak. Given these statistics, over the projected total is our full game total pick. LSU versus Arkansas. The Southeastern Conference football season is heating up, and one of the standout matchups this weekend pits the LSU Tigers against the Arkansas Razorbacks in what promises to be a high-energy showdown under the lights. Historically, LSU has dominated the head-to-head -head series between these two programs, boasting a 44-23-2 advantage. The Tigers also claim victory in their latest encounter, narrowly edging out Arkansas 34-31 in a thrilling contest on September 23, 2023 in Baton Rouge. Both teams are determined to strengthen their position in the Southeastern Conference, making this a critical game with significant implications for the rest of the season. I've been optimistic about Arkansas for most of the season, even though their journey hasn't been flawless so far. Despite a few bumps in the road, the Razorbacks are beginning to resemble the top 25 to 30 caliber team that I anticipated at the season's outset. This week presents an ideal opportunity for Arkansas, as head coach Sam Pittman's squad comes into the game off a well-timed bye. They will also have have the advantage of playing at home against an LSU team riding the emotional high of an overtime victory over Ole Miss, arguably one of the most notable wins in the Brian Kelly era. However, a closer look at the numbers suggests that the Tigers were fortunate to escape with that win. According to college football insiders, LSU's victory over Ole Miss stands out as one of the most misleading outcomes from last weekend, with Ole Miss showing a better net success rate despite the loss. LSU's offensive struggles are becoming more apparent. They rank just 67th now nationally in rushing success rate and 47th in points per quality possession. This is concerning given the Tigers' talent at skill positions and the potential of quarterback Garrett Nussmeyer who has yet to play consistently at a high level. On the other side of the ball, Arkansas has had moments this season where they look capable of being undefeated. The Razorbacks let two key games slip away late against Oklahoma State and Texas Agricultural and Mechanical in September, turning potential wins into narrow losses. Their offense has been impressive on the ground, ranking 25th in expected points added per rush and 28th in rushing success rate. Quarterback Talon Green has emerged as a dual-threat playmaker, giving opposing Southeastern Conference Conference defenses headaches with his ability to move the chains both through the air and on the ground. What's even more encouraging for Arkansas is their recent improvement on defense. They put together one of their best performances of the season last week, holding Tennessee's high-octane offense to just 156 passing yards in a shocking upset over Josh Upel's squad. The Razorbacks' defense is particularly stout against the run, which creates a potential mismatch against LSU's underwhelming ground game. If Arkansas can force LSU into third and long situations, their pass rush, featuring a talented group that has already recorded 14 sacks this season could put relentless pressure on Nussmeyer, who struggled mightily when facing Ole Miss's defensive front. While it's easy to understand why some might back LSU in this matchup, given that the Tigers have been on a roll since their season-opening loss to Southeastern Conference, it's important to note that not all of their wins have been dominant. They've had several close calls, and this Arkansas team has shown a knack for staying competitive in tough games. The Razorbacks have been underdogs in all three of their Southeastern Conference matchups so far, covering the spread in each instance and securing two outright wins. This game sets up as a classic letdown spot for LSU, especially coming off an emotional victory over Ole Miss and with a showdown against Texas Agricultural and Mechanical looming on the horizon. In contrast, Arkansas is well-rested and playing at home, making this an excellent opportunity for head coach Sam Pittman, who has thrived as an underdog during his time in Fayetteville. So the Arkansas Razorbacks to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Razorbacks have also been hitting the team total under in their last four games, yielding a plus 4.2 unit gain with an 81% return on investment. Similarly, LSU has stayed under their team total in their last three games, with a plus 3 unit gain and 80% return on investment. Arkansas's defense has risen to the occasion in recent weeks, and I expect them to bring the same intensity against LSU. The Razorbacks' ability to defend the run and pressure opposing quarterbacks gives them a significant edge. With 14 sacks on the season, their pass rush could present serious problems for Nussmeyer 
who struggled to stay poised under pressure against Ole Miss. The big question is whether the Tigers quarterback can perform consistently on the road, especially with defenders in his face. Saturday will reveal if Nussmeier is capable of leading his team under these difficult conditions. While Arkansas is likely to move the ball effectively, the question is whether they can maintain long, scoring drives. The Tigers' defense employs a bend but don't break strategy, holding opponents to just a 70.5% scoring rate inside the red zone. Complicating matters for the Razorbacks is the health of their quarterback Talon Green, who may be limited by a nagging knee injury. If Green isn't at full strength, Arkansas's offensive output could be compromised, with both defenses likely to make key stops under the projected total as our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.